Hey guys, I have a haul to share with you all. It is from a couple of online places and let me go ahead and get started because there's quite a few things. First, I got a very pretty haul from Crafty Me Shop. Everything she sells is pretty, of course. Uh, I ordered bling this time and this is how they came. Well, there was a ribbon wrapped around both boxes, but look at the bling. <laughs> I ordered a yard of this type of bling. Um, beautiful, right? Very nice quality. And she sent me um, a few extras. I missed out on these. But she had these really pretty um, blings that are really nice for flower centers or what have you. Um, so she sent me some of those. They were really pretty. I really missed out on those. Um, and she had them at a great price. So that's the first box of bling. And then the second box of bling is a yard of this. I don't know if I can show it to you. There you go. See, this is a little bit different. There's like a teardrop and then the spacing on the bling is a little bit different as well. So really, really pretty. And I also ordered two of these pink blings. Now the thing with this is you can cut it apart because it's not connected um, across you know the top. You, it's connected at the bottom so you can actually cut this apart into three separate pieces. So if you just wanted to have this on a project um, you'd have two of those pieces plus this middle which kind of looks like a bow. So yeah really really pretty. I was good because you guys have seen me um, put away my crafty me stash um, into my little drawers in there in my, in my studio so trying to really just purchase stuff that I, I know I'll use that I don't already have okay I picked up these two um, die sets these are um, new from Caitlin Lazardi it took a while to get here um, I got free shipping on mine and I ordered mine from a vendor on Amazon so this is a pocket Traveler's Notebook size die, and it is a big di bigs die. Um, it it actually I was curious how they did this, but if you look in the picture here, the way they've done it is you it cuts one side of the notebook, so you have to cut two pieces to do this, just like the um, Sussex die from Eileen Hall, which is the standard traveler size. This is a pocket size, so it's shorter and wider, I believe than a standard size um, traveler's notebook and um, it has a pocket a um, pen loop and I don't know what that other thing is it looks like a label to me but I can't be sure so there's a, a, a die cut of the actual size of the the notebook and I can tell you the size of the die cuts it says four by six by one and a quarter inches. That's weird. Why does it have a third? That's the die cut six. Let me just measure it for you on my mat. So let's see. Yep. Six, five, five. Oh, okay. I see. So the spine is probably going to be about, that's what it is. The spine is one and, what did it say? One and a quarter inches, this spine part right here. And then the rest is the four inches. So it's a four by six. That'd be kind of nice for a mini album, huh? I don't, I don't know if that's a standard size personal traveler's notebook, but I'll have to look it up because I have the sizes somewhere written down. And then I purchased this Caitlin Lazardi um, Thinlets die, which makes the um, inserts and other stuff. Inserts and paper clips and little page markers. And I think there's even a pocket. So yeah, I purchased that as well. There's 19 dies in here. That's a, that's a lot. So yeah, I got that off of Amazon. Um, it wasn't prime, but it was free shipping. Okay, and then the last part of my haul is from Paper Tray Ink. 
This is actually my birthday gift from my husband. He told me I could fill my cart up, which I did. And then he said, that's all. And I thought, oh, I guess I could have bought more. But, you know, this is what I wanted at the time that I purchased. So um, this set is the Stampin' Die set called Spring Woods. And it's all birds. So you can see it's a layering stamp and it's got some sentiments as well. The birds are bigger than, than the image. So here's the die set that goes along with it. And I purchased that partly because I was looking for this set, which was the Winter Woods. I realized I didn't have a cardinal. I thought I had one. Maybe I do and it's lost in one of my stamp sets. I don't know. Um, this is uh, different uh, winter birds. So... Um, yeah, I purchased the stamp and the die set to go along with. You can kind of see the size of the birds that come out of it. And, um, there's three types of birds in here. Of course, you can make them any color you want if you wanted to, but I want the cardinal for a card that I want to finish. So there's that. And then I also purchased the additional, um, coordinating die, which is the, um, the trees. You see that wood's. Um, this is different from the other one I have in that it has a branch that comes out this way and you can put the bird, I don't know, I guess it is this way. You can put the bird perched up on the branch or two branches that are out there. So I got the, the cover plate for that. And then I purchased this last set, um, which is called Spruce and Sprigs. I wanted this set as well because it's another Christmas set. And you can see that it's got some holly leaves and bur um, berries and different sp um, sp sprigs of pine. So this is the matching die set that goes with it. All right. And then the last thing is lots of paper, coordinating paper with paper tray inks, ink sets. So soft stone, um, Hawaiian shores, and these are all... $3 a pack of 12 sheets each. Pine feather, which is a nice green color. Uh, tropical teal. Berry sorbet. They're, and their cardstock is super thick. It's really nice cardstock, if, if you guys haven't tried it. Um, if you had to compare it to, say, the Stampin' Up! cardstock, I think this is actually thicker. Um, Scarlet Jewel. The Hibiscus Burst. Spring Rain. Ocean Tides and Pure Poppy. Now this one I got a 24 sheet pack and that's $5 for 24 as opposed to $3 for 12. So um, what is this? Aqua Mist. Really pretty. Sweet Blush and Dark Indigo. Pale Peony, which is different from the Sweet Blush. You can kind of see them, well, maybe you can't there. See, it's a darker tone. And Mint Julep, Lovely Lady. And then the last four are their new um, pattern packs. So you get, um, for $5, there's 24 sheets, and you get these six patterns in the Pure Poppy with white. So you can see the pattern patterns that are in the pack. So there's eight sheets printed on each side, um, double-sided. So you get six different designs. So that's the Pure Poppy one, the Spring Rain, Scarlet Jewel, and the Dark Indigo. Um, they have other colors, but I wasn't interested or thinking I'd use those colors, so I didn't purchase them. Um, but that's that's a quite a substantial haul from Paper Tray. So anyway, that is my haul for now, and thanks for watching. Bye!